and I am back with another episode of SD Excel. In today's episode, we are gonna learn how you can use that Refiner extension in SD Excel to apply both the SD Excel base model and Refiner model in the very same step. Yeah, you heard it right. There is no need to go to Config UI anymore. You can just use the Refiner extension in Automatic 1111 instead of going through the two-step process where you create an image in text to image, then go to image to image and refine that. But before that, comment yes if you think I am shooting this video on the very same setting as my previous SD Excel video. Don't answer it. It's a trick question. Now let's get started. First, let's go to the extension tab in Stable Diffusion. Go to install from URL. Copy this link from here. Paste the URL and hit install. Just get back to installed tab and hit apply and restart UI. Now if you go back to that text to image tab, you should start seeing the refiner extension down here. Let's first try generating an image without the refiner model. Let's select the SDXL base model. Write a very secret prompt. The image is generated but it is severely lacking the detail in the skin. Now click on this button to keep the seat fixed. Enable the refiner. We should always choose the refiner model in refiner extension. Now steps. One mistake I have been seeing everyone making is that they are treating this one as number of steps. Whereas it is actually the percent of refiner steps, not number of steps. Like in Comfy UI or in image to image method in automatic 1111, you choose the number of steps the refiner model is applied. But in this extension, it is the percent of refiner steps, not the number of steps. That means if the sampling steps number in our base model is 20 and we choose 20% in percent steps for the refiner extension, that is actually 5 steps, not 20 steps for the base model and 20 steps for the refiner model. Now I am starting with 20% and increase it from there. It has already gotten much better and much detailed. It is almost like a real photo shot with a very high aperture lens where the blur starts just from behind the eyes and smoothens out the image. Let's try with higher number of steps. I am gonna choose 50% for this one. That means for 20 steps of the base model, the refiner would be applied for 10 steps. And in this refiner, 50% is the best you can go. That is That seems to be at the limitation of this one. Actually, in most cases, you I don't think you need more than that. Uh, maybe you would need somewhere around 30%, 40% or 20%. Let's just try it out. This time, the def uh, details have definitely increased, but I don't like how it looks. Uh, it has become more distorted, unnatural. That should be the word for it. So I think I would prefer that 20% version compared to this 50% one. You can try out with different percentages for different images and see what suits best. Now let's see if we can make something better than this with the original image to image method. We are disabling that refiner model and generating the same image again with just the base model. Now just send this to image to image. Here we have to change the model from the list and choose the refiner model. I'm going to keep the prompt as it is. Now decreasing the sampling steps to 5 steps, denoising strength. I should explain this part little bit. As you can see in this method you can choose a denoising strength but in the extension you cannot. I have done experiments with different settings and my assumption is that the the refiner extension uses a denoising strength of somewhere around 10% to 15%. So therefore I am setting the denoising strength around 10% in this one and generating the image. This one looks a lot like the first image we created with refiner extension. Now coming back to the first question. Is the refiner extension really a replacement for this method? In my opinion certainly not because the refiner extension seems very very limited to me. It comes with just a range of sampling steps of up to 50%. I know you might not need more than that and as I have seen in my usages, I tend to set the denoising strength at 10% in most of the times because that's what works best. So if you are keen on using automatic 11.11 and you need to generate a lot of images altogether and you don't mind that little handicap of fine tuning that perfect setting, then this refiner extension is really awesome for you. Because let's be honest, if you are generating lot of images even 10, 15 or 20 images at once, it is not really possible to generate each image or generate a set of images, select each image, go to image to image, then refine it again and again. In my opinion, Comfy UI is best for this kind of works right now and I hope Automatic 11.11 developers will create a process that streamlines it, that makes us able to use both the models together without applying any extensions. Or maybe the refiner extension would evolve and it will give us much more settings like we get in the config UI. Until that happens, 
if you are really willing to test out this SDXL model and use it to its best possible capability, I think Comfy UI works best for this. I'll link the simplest workflow I have developed for running SDXL model down below. And if you want to learn how you can develop such workflows easily by yourself, you should definitely check this video on my left. And if you think you are gonna stick to automatic 11.11 for now and want to avoid Comfy UI altogether, you should definitely check this video on my right.